Hi, my name is Dr. Ami Bhatt, and I'm a heart doctor here at the Massachusetts General Hospital Heart Center and one of the directors of the Adult Congenital Heart Disease Program. I'm excited to speak with you today about adult congenital heart disease and specifically your day of surgery and the expected recovery process. Please remember that this conversation should not replace conversations that you should have with your own doctor and surgeon. So on the day of surgery, when you come in, you'll separate from family or friends. You'll go towards the operating rooms and they'll go to the surgical waiting area. The first 10 minutes, when they put you in a gown, you're waiting on a stretcher or a bed, hopefully with some warm blankets, is probably the longest 10 minutes of the day. Then you'll start to see familiar faces from your pre-op visit. Nurses and anesthesiologists will take care of you, and soon enough you'll be in the operating room and asleep. Then becomes the long process for your family, which is the wait until you get done with surgery. The surgical time involves getting you ready in the operating room, your actual surgery, and then getting you ready to come out of the operating room. And therefore, for your family, that can be half a day or even the majority of a day that they're waiting. They should know that in the waiting area, they'll usually get an update halfway through. But if they haven't heard from anyone in a few hours, they should feel free to go to the desk and ask for a quick update from the operating room on how you're doing. When they next see you, you'll be in the intensive care unit and you'll be asleep with a tube for breathing and probably a whole bunch of IVs from your neck, your arms, maybe even your legs. You'll have some tubes to help drain fluid from your chest and maybe a tube to help you urinate. As soon as your lungs are ready and you're awake enough, your breathing tube will come out and you'll be able to be awake and see your family. That can happen as soon as a few hours after surgery or sometimes we would keep you asleep for a little bit longer. That first day you have an adrenaline rush and you're just happy to have gotten through this. But the next two days can be a little bit hard where tubes and IVs may still be in, not the breathing tube, and the pain and the soreness may start to kick in, although your doctors and nurses will provide you with the best pain medications. You'll then start to feel a little bit emotional around day two or day three, and even the young men may be found crying. However, by day four or five, you're feeling like yourself again and you're ready to leave the hospital. In those first five to seven days before you leave the hospital, there may be a lot that happens on monitors, a lot of medication changes. And unless you see your cardiologist or your cardiac surgeon coming in and telling you to be worried, most of this is just part of the recovery process. When you get home, you'll be tired the first two weeks. You'll feel that you need to nap in the afternoons. Oftentimes, we recommend that you talk to your cardiologist about cardiac rehab, which is a chance to go and exercise and get back into shape, usually after six weeks post-surgery. You'll meet with your surgeon once again after the surgery to ask remaining questions, and you'll continue regular follow-up with your cardiologist. Some people ask for short-term disability, up to eight to 12 weeks, and then may end up going back to work or working from home as early as four to six weeks for desk jobs, a little later for manual labor jobs. You're gonna do well, but ask lots of questions. Be involved in the process. Keep safe, be happy, and best of luck.